Malaysia Holmes does agriculture on a small scale to support her family. She manages her farmlands located at Maka East Bank, Demerara, single-handedly. Initially, she tried cultivating different crops but faced issues like flooding. After I took up farming, I started with different crops. But I find that I didn't get through with many the different crops that I tried, so I switched from everything else and focused mainly on planting and banana. Whereby I have I had a lot of produce, my largest bunch being like close to fifty to sixty pounds. I tried pepper, balanje, tomato. When I tried started those crops, the land was prone to flooding and I didn't know. So basically I planted it the wrong place, whereby the land was flooding and I didn't know. So after I realized that that didn't work out for me, I moved to a different strategy, which means planting. I look for higher grounds. I started planting, I moved it to the higher grounds, which is the dam bed. And I noticed I didn't really get much flooding that I get on the lower part of the land. Malaysia said she finds that plantains and bananas are less demanding to manage than other crops. Farming has been her livelihood for nearly a decade. For now, she only supplies her community. I take my products to the shops in the village. So you don't go to the big markets? No, I don't have that much to take to the market. She faces challenges with the soil becoming acidic over time and every five years, she rotates her crops. This part of the soil, it tends to get sour. How do you know that the soil, the soil gets sour? You would notice that this, this sucker, the produce that, you, that I normally am expected to get, I don't, the bunch won't be that huge as before, which in the normal bunch, for about the normal, but wait for a bunch of plants, supposed to be 50 to 60 pounds. And from you notice that that start decreasing, you notice that that part of the land gets sour. So you try to move and put something else in the place of that. Which by, like how I have this space here, I would either put down a pepper plant, a sorry plant, use something to take up the space. Not because the land only gets sour for the planting or the banana but it didn't get sour for the other produce. Within the dry season, you would have noticed that you don't get that much problem with the suckers. But in the wet season, it's either the sucker fall, or too much of water kill a sucker. And for a sucker to grow, you have to keep it out of water. Where there is water stagnant around suckers, it's a no-no. Her focus is on producing high-quality, nutritious food, and she has plans to expand into pineapple farming. For a healthy bunch of planting, it would have basically have to have about close to nine leaf. That would show that you would get a healthy bunch of planting and a healthy produce. I tried pineapple before here, and I noticed that I get a healthy pineapple. It basically means one of my pineapple, my first ever pineapple I've harvested is this year, and a pineapple take close to 18 months. My forest planting is about this, and as fat as this. Malaysia also receives assistance from the Sustainable Agriculture in the Caribbean SAC project, which is being implemented by the World University Service of Canada, which provides aid to small farmers where needed. I have not only received support, I've learned about raised bed technique. I've, I came home after learning about the raised bed technique, and I administer it. And I... On that respect technique, I try pepper, and I notice I get a healthy produce of pepper. Her expertise extends to the harvesting and maintenance of banana and plantains. Don't just cut the banana and leave the sucker up, because that way this sucker that I leave up, remember it already produced, and I already cut out the produce. You would have to cut down the sucker. After doing that, you would brace it up to the others. This is the leaf, the leafing process. And I don't just cut the leaf and just drop it. I cut with the help of my kids, with the support of my kids, I get them to help pick up the amount of leaf that I've gathered, do the leafing. And we take it somewhere where there's no other suckers around or where it's open spaces and burn them. 
after cutting a leaf from this tree, I don't just walk over and cut another. I have to sterilize back my tools, move over to another sucker and do the same. That way, I would not be moving a disease from this plant to this plant. Unfortunately, theft is an ongoing issue on her farm. She said reporting it has not yielded results. For Newsroom, Isanella Pato.